So some of the things that I learned over the course of having to do this, basically being put on the spot over and over and over again by people who really could play those tempos seriously, um, I kind of break it up into three areas, three general areas. So those areas are how you deal with the time itself. Uh, second area is sort of like your language and your lines and your rhythmic language also, sort of rhythmically how you approach it. Um, Third area is the mechanics, like what do you have under your fingers, how do you actually play. And maybe the fourth area is sort of like what's your knowledge of the fretboard in terms of the material you're trying to play. So these are all important categories, important areas. So I'll think in one, instead of thinking one, two, one, two. So the tempo is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So half is one, two, one, two. And thinking in one would just be one, one. So instead of... One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, one. It's very relaxed because everything is long. One, one, one. One. I'm going to take the rhythm and put it in with the track. Let's see. Now there's also, you know, the left hand. Like, what is, what are we doing here with the left hand? So, um, certainly the idea of just one attack followed by a hammer-on or a pull-off is, is a great way to get around the neck without stressing your right hand. I'm really trying to do all into the downbeats. Sometimes I do. Now that's the opposite. You hear it doesn't feel quite the same. If you don't know where you are, it's going to affect your confidence. It's kind of obvious. Um, so you want to make sure. So what I would do is I would go through for practice technique. I would go through all of these things um, one by one with a track and just kind of see where they sit. Is it a left hand thing? Is it a right hand thing? Is it that I don't understand the harmony? What is it? Mm -hmm. 